Okay, we're going to do the second portion of the CNC base. This time we're going to set up the tool library. If we go to tools and click on the very first drop down menu, set up library, notice that each one of the categories or stations they're reading undefined. That's because no one has set this one up yet. So we need to find out what tools go in what category. So if I pull up Word, I've already got my library here. This is what we're using in the lab. Uh, all of us, we've already set our uh, tool numbers and tool stations up to the same category. I click on Tool 1 and pull this back up. Need to find out what that's a 3 16 or 0.1875 for number 1. And it is an mil. 3 16 is 0.1875. And I can give it a description. 3 16 cutter. That's number tool station 1. And we're going to click apply. Now let's go to tool station number 2. And that was a quarter inch end mill. And it's a four flute. It's an end mill cutter. 0.25 or 0.250, whatever you want to call it. Quarter inch cutter. It's already established as a tool type as an end mill. Number of teeth is showing four. Uh, we can leave the station. We can change that if we want to or whatever we want to do. It's only going to go up to four stations, it looks like. Uh, that was tool number two. Apply. Tool three. Tool three is uh, also is a quarter, but it's a ball nose end mill. So we need to, tool type is ball mill. Diameters are the same. And that's going to be a quarter ball nose. Apply that one. Tool number four is a three-quarter inch. It's a two flute, and that's the diameter is 750 thousandths. 0.75, three-quarter. <clears throat> okay. We just applied that one. Tool number five happens to be a uh, number two center drill. That's the one we're going to be doing our engraving with. Let's take it down to a drill. And the diameter is 0 0.0625 or 16th of an inch. And we're going to call that a number two center drill. Apply that one. Tool number six, I believe it's a half. Yep, tool six is a half and tool seven is a three eighths. Both of those are end mills. This one's a half point five. You don't necessarily have to put the description in. It it, it helps uh, whenever you someone else is coming up to the machine and they just wondering what type cutter it is. They don't know what the decimal equivalence is. Uh, for example, this one right here, pretty much everyone knows that 0.5 is a half inch, but what is a 0.375, right? That happens to be a 3 8 mil. All right, and we're going to apply that, and that's all the tools we need to set up for right now. We're just going to set up seven of them. Click apply and OK. Now anytime we want to check it, we can just go to Tools, Set Up Library, and here's the, the different types of tools. And check OK to that. Now, I'm going to show you how to pull in uh, an existing file that we've already created. We go to File, and the one I did a while ago was a dog bone. Okay, and notice we have a gray screen, and we have some text here. So it's telling us we're doing absolute programming. And this is something that you probably want to do is to set up your stop material to put some uh, some type of text to that, letting us know what to set it up. The last time we did this, it was with a 4x4 block. 
So we want to check it, set it now at six inches in the X, two inches in the Y, and a half inch thick. In order to do that, we can do it one of two ways. In the last video we showed you can click on verify, verify settings, and here's our stock. And uh, I'll go ahead and set that right now. Set it at six in the X and two in the Y. And we'll, it's already at a half in the Z. So if we set that, that changed that stock material for us here. Or if we did not want to do it that way, we could have gone here. Oh, got hit cancel first. Click here, and that's the same option that we have under our verify setup category. I can exit out of that since we already set up. Like I said, you notice we have we do have a gray screen. If I want to do some edit scene, I can go to edit and unlock this, and now I'm in a danger mode where something could potentially change. And um, I'm going to relock that before something bad happens. Let's click on verify. And if I click Verify Program, it runs. Okay, now if I open this window up, I can hit my Verify screen, and it enlarges it for me. I can speed it up or slow it down. Just run it all the way down to where it grays out and bump it up one time, and you get a better visualization of the verification. Those down into the part, up, around. The curves are a little bit slower because you're moving in multi-axis. As soon as it finishes this, it's going to wrap it over this direction in our x-axis. I'm going to speed that up. That's going to take too long. There we go. So much faster it goes when it's not doing a radius. All right. Normal program stop. All right, that's pretty much it for right now.